Well, guys, it seems the BBC are doubling down with their licence fee and in 2027 actually plan to change it so everyone pays it, like council tax, regardless of them having a TV or not. Talk about clutching on with everything they can to keep our money flowing into their pockets and the pockets of woke degenerate toss pots like Gary Lineker and Emily Matepiss. You know, the absolute losers who run around screaming about how bigoted we all are and how evil the UK is in general. I'm sure you would agree they are a national embarrassment, one of many right now, unfortunately trying to piss in our pockets and tell us it's raining. Well, the mail has picked up on this along with a few others, so let's see what they have to say. It headlines, the rich face paying more to watch TV. BBC licence fee could be replaced by a means-tested household tax, says Lord Tony Hall as he prepares to step down as Director General. This of course follows what I covered the other day when he said the BBC would become the voice of Britain after Brexit, which I'm sure you would all agree is completely laughable, but doesn't surprise me for these deranged out-of-touch losers who are at the BBC. The BBC licence fee could be replaced by a means-tested household tax, the corporate Corporation's outgoing director has suggested. Lord Tony Hall of Birkenhead, who is set to step down, said a household tax where the rich pay more might make more sense than the current TV license system. No, abolishing it, making them private, that is the only way it will work. That is a better way than the current TV license system. No one should be forced to pay for something they don't watch or don't want. And in this day and age, they certainly shouldn't be forced to pay for something that sits there, tears down everything they're about, destroys their history, and attempts to remove their culture. There is absolutely Absolutely no reason for anyone to pay the BBC for anything at all. If they want to continue to be a TV service, then they should move to a private model, get some advertisements like everybody else. There certainly shouldn't be no household tax, no BBC license fee, none of that at the end of the day. He also suggested that a potential annual levy could be collected alongside existing household bills such as council tax or broadband, because as we all know, they are desperate to keep hold of your money and keep it flowing into the pockets of people like Gary Lineker as I said. Said. This means the BBC would have to spend less money on tracking down evaders. No, it's got absolutely nothing to do with that. If this policy was to be put in, the BBC would stand to make a hell of a lot more money from it. Currently, many people get out of paying the licence fee. If this was the way, every single person would have to pay it regardless, much like your council tax. The licence fee has been a subject of discussion in recent months, with increasingly vocal opponents calling for its scrapping. Its current form will continue until 2027, but the government has indicated a new system may be required after that. It comes as the BBC is under increasing fire. More than 100 people have signed the Mail Online's petition urging the BBC to reverse its censorship of land and hope and glory and rule Britannia at the last night of the proms, which is something I have covered and I actually have another video coming out on that later. And the rest of the shit they got there is not really related to anything that we actually care about. Where is anything about Brexit? Where is their utter bias? Where is just their general nonsense and their supporting of divisive activist groups? These are the real things that people are pissed off about. They don't give a shit about news editors, Roger Moore, or anything else. Some critics have favoured a Netflix-style subscription service where people can opt in or opt out of BBC services. Yeah, and then if they want to, like Netflix, they can pump out that cuties film that we know the BBC would endorse 100%, especially if you remember back to their actions relating to Jimmy Savile. Two conservative backbenchers have even drafted private members' bills calling for the BBC to be privatised and face more stringent oversight of its impartiality over a series of recent controversies. There are also calls for non-payment of the licence fee to be decriminalised, something we already know and I have called for myself, suggesting his own alternative in his exit interview with the media show on Radio 4. Lord Hall said, I think finding ways in which the licence fee can be charged progressively so those who can afford to pay more and those who can't afford to pay less should be looked at. Should it be collected in a way on household bills, council tax bills to cut down the cost? He added, if you want to have something good, a public service available to all, then that has to be funded by all, not by subscription or behind some paywall. Which, as I said, proves what I said a moment ago, that this is all about the money that they want. They just want more money, there is nothing else to do with it, all this is about is them getting more money and being able to take it from absolutely everyone, regardless of what they try to do. Because as you know, many people are cancelling their TV licence, and there are groups out there trying to get people to find a way to defund the BBC by slowing down the payments and just making it a bit of a headache, as I've 
have covered before. In the interview, Lord Hall revealed that he had considered quitting when the government offloaded the responsibility for free TV licenses for the over 75s. Yeah, because he was just hoping for a nice and easy time there at the taxpayers' expense. He didn't want to be raked over the coals for doing something that they agreed they wouldn't do. The deal with the government which saw the corporation taking on responsibility for free licenses for over 75s is regarded by many as Lord Hall's biggest blunder during his time in charge. Yeah, because he opted to be able to increase the license fee year on year if he kept up paying for over 75s and then he went against that which turned the rest of the British people against the BBC more than they already was. You have to remember the BBC is one of the most untrusted media organisations probably in the world. Especially if you ask the people of this country, they are on par with CNN. And the rest of it just goes on about the BBC's woke bullshit, we've already covered that before, I'm not going through it again. So guys, if the BBC get their way, be prepared for an actual tax to be landing on your doorstep with no way of actually getting out of it. Now of course, you might say that the Tories are not going to let this happen and they might well not, but that depends if they are still in power then. Because remember, this is talking about 2027, the next election is in 2024. But given as I've said before, the Labour Party are a complete, unelectable bunch of tosspots, they should well be able to do it, even when you consider the piss poor performances we have been seeing over the past couple of months. At the end of the day, we run a two party system, there isn't anyone else that's going to be elected because 70 odd percent of the country are not going to vote for one of the smaller parties, it's just never going to happen. So the Tories will likely get in because they have a massive majority as we all know. But the only other option aside from them that could well take power is the Labour Party or a coalition of one of those two with a bunch of other snivelling shit weasels. Either way, we're fucked. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>